Okay, so we're going to do more practice with parameters and arguments. I'm going to do a lesson on drawing a stick man, but we're not just going to draw a stick man. We're going to make a function that will do it for us. Okay, um, in the video description, there should have been some start code. Here it is. Um, it's basically just this template that I have for the canvas, and I've included a little sketch of a stick man to help us draw our stick man. Let's open that actually right now. Okay, so this is my little big head stickman sketch, big head. Anyway, the idea here is that I want to be able to draw this stickman. Um, I could just draw it at a set point, but I want to have a reference point. And then I can change that reference point to draw it at different parts on the screen. So this X, Y, I'm going to say there's an invisible imaginary rectangle around the stickman, and the top left corner will be my reference point. Okay. Let's open this up with code and main.js. We'll add a title. Why not draw a stickman? Okay, and everything else should be set up here, um, except I want to add some drawing here. So draw a stickman. And maybe I'll draw a stick man at a certain location on the screen, maybe something like 400, uh, whatever, 200, 400, something like that. So let's start by, as I said, I wanted kind of a reference point. Let's just make uh, some global variables, x, which will be 200, and y, which will be 400. Okay. So when I draw my stick man, we should probably start by setting a uh, fill style um, for the head. Actually, maybe we'll just do strokes. Do a stroke style, and let's set the color to be, let's do blue stick man. Sure. And then let's start by drawing the head. So the head, when I draw on a circle like this, I do the arc command with a center and a radius. So if this is my reference point, let's say we could do whatever size of stickman we wanted, but let's say each grid or each square is 10 by 10. So I would like to start at X and go X plus 20 and Y plus 20 to get to the center. Okay, so when I draw this, I'm gonna go uh, begin path and I'm gonna draw an arc that starts at X plus 20 and Y plus 20. It'll have a radius of 20, right? Because from the center to here is 10, 20. So radius of 20. And we start at zero and go to two pi because that's a full rotation. All right, let's save that. Let's go live and see if I have a head. I do not. Uh, let's go to my console. No error messages. Oh, because of course I need to go context dot stroke to actually draw that. And now if I go here, there it is, there's my head. Awesome. Okay, so let's start by doing some comments here, head. Okay, and then let's draw the neck. So to draw a line again, I do a begin path, and I do a move to, and I have to go to a starting point. So why don't I draw a line from here, it's not really the neck, I guess we could call it the neck and body could be joined together. So let's go from here all the way down to here. So again, if I go relative to here, this point would be x plus 20 and y plus 10, 20, 30, 40. y plus 40. So x plus 20, y plus 40. And I'm going to do a line to the x value doesn't change. But the y value will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So y plus 80. Okay, so that should draw the body uh, after I go stroke. Okay, so we've got the head and the body. Next up, let's do the left arm, let's see. So again, begin path, move to. Uh, the left arm, let's go X and then Y plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So X and Y plus 70. 
and then line to x plus 20, right, to this point here. So x plus 20 and y plus 50. So now, like, this is pretty straightforward. Now all we're doing is just doing all these commands to draw these different lines. Um, we just have to be careful to be relative to the corner, right, that top left corner. So this would be x plus 40, and the same y value, y plus 50. So x plus 40, y plus 50, to the same point as the other one, x plus 20 and y plus 50. Oh, sorry, this should be y plus 70. All right, so the right points to the center point. And then context.stroke. Let's do a quick check to see we're looking okay. All right, not bad. Now I just need the legs. Okay, um, left leg. Again, begin a path. I, I did think about doing all of these as one big path, going from this point to this point to this point to this point, but I think for organization's sake, this will be better. Um, I also want to do this for a reason we'll see later on in the course. Okay, so context dot move to, uh, where do we got to go? Uh, the left leg will go this point, so x and y plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Okay, so x and y plus 110, and then line to x plus 20, which is the center, x plus 20, and y plus, y plus 80, I think that should be. Yeah, this was y plus 70, so that should be y plus 80. y plus 80. Okay, and then stroke, and then we'll do the right leg. So just that begin path, x plus 40, which would be the right edge, and y plus 110, which is the bottom. And then line to that same middle point that the other leg went to. Okay. That's the diagram. There is my stick map. Awesome. Okay. So all of this code here was required to draw a stick map. Great. Now the X and Y are important because now I can change 500, 100. Just change that x and y, and I draw a stick man at a new location. Awesome. Now, what if I wanted to draw a second stick man? I would need a uh, let x2 be assigned 100, let y2 be assigned 100. And I'm going to copy and paste all of this stuff. Copy and paste. Let's... Uh, well, let's get that because we're changing the variables anyway. I'll say x2, y2. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, back from the phone call. I think I was doing, oh yeah, draw a stick man at x and y, right? That's my variables here, and it's blue. Let's draw this stick man. Let's make him green. And I'm going to hit control H so I can find x and replace it with x2. Let's try that here. Hold on. Okay, so this replace is not going to work because it's going to replace all these X's here, which is bad bad news because I don't have a context too. So I'm going to have to do this old school and just change this to X2, Y2. A little tedious, but we'll get her done. And actually, this is, it's funny that I'm spending the time on this because this is a really inefficient way. And I you hope you guys are screaming at me saying, Mr. Falcon, why in the world are you doing it this way? You've taught us about parameters and arguments. And can't we do this much more efficiently? Yes, we can. But sometimes I like to show you the inefficient way first. Okay, let's see if that works. Hey, I've got my two stick men, one blue, one green. Right? And I've got my two different variables. I control them. Let's change this one to 200, 400, and there you go. Okay, awesome. Now, like I was saying, totally inefficient, duplicating this code. Wouldn't it be awesome if I had a function called draw stick man that took in an X and a Y, right? I could just pass in the X and the Y, and it would do it. And actually, I could just do it right here. Actually, let's also pass in a color. 
Wouldn't that be awesome? X, Y, comma, color. We'll do the American spelling this time. And then I can copy and paste all of this code here to draw one stick man. And instead of putting blue here, I'm going to use my color parameter, right? Whatever color gets passed into the function. And X and Y will be whatever these X and Ys are right here. Okay, cool. So how does that help me? I can now reuse that code. So all of this, bye-bye, all of this, bye-bye. And I can simply go draw stickman at 500, 100, and call the same function. Oh, hold on, I also need a color, right? Uh, let's go red and draw another stickman at two, 200, 200. We'll make that one purple. Why not? And now, ta-da! Okay, and now so easy, right? I can reuse this code and I can draw more stick men all over the place and pass in those different values. And this shows us the power of functions, how I can define the code once and I can reuse it over and over again, but just supply different values. Remember, these are the parameters, they're like local variables, and these are the arguments to the function, right? The parameters store the value of the arguments that get passed in and use it in its task. Okay, that's the main lesson here for draw a stickman function. Um, I want you to play around with this too. Um, draw something, okay? You can be creative. Um, I recommend doing a sketch on like a, some graph paper. Come see me, I got some graph paper for you. Do a sketch first and then draw it out and make a wonderful function that you can use over and over again. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.